I am your friend, Dr. Charles Apoki. I want to thank my friend Enoch from Kenya, who asked that I should do this video. And I just, I, 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 I am really motivated by what he said. We want to thank the president of Kenya for being wise, reasonable and sensitive to the cries of his people. Their protest against that financial tax law, tax law, whatever it was. The people were angry and they mobilized against the government. And the government eventually rescinded their decision. I hope they don't bring it back in another way. I was thinking as I went to change my dress, if a lot of these African leaders were our colonial masters, they would not have left. They would have killed a lot of people. The way demonstrations are crushed in Africa. It is true that some people died during the protest. In some countries, it will have been worse, worse off. But, <clears throat> excuse me, any death is a painful death. And we should learn that when our people are protesting peacefully, they should be treated with utmost respect. Because you are in office because they came out to vote for you. You are their servants. You are working for them. They are your masters. And if they say you are not doing well, you don't kill them. Number two, I, I celebrate the boldness of the Gen Z in Kenya for coming out to protest against an obnoxious law. And they forced the government to change that policy. So today, there are not only three arms of government. You have the executive, you have the judiciary, you have the legislative arm, and then you have the people, the people, and I can add social media. I heard that one of the members of the judiciary condemned just picking people from the streets and not seeing them. I want to congratulate and thank that judicial officer. In several parts of Africa, the judiciary, the police, the army, the legislative arm collaborates with the leadership to suppress people. And that's why Africa is backward. If it were to be in Nigeria, religious leaders will have come out to go and show solidarity with the president and tell him that, um, that they are behind him and tell the people that peace should reign, that Islam is a religion of peace and Christ is a man of peace. But a hungry man does not have a peaceful stomach. Then traditional rulers will have come out and visited the president and told him that they are with him. These are the institutions that drag nations backwards. Traditional institutions, religious leaders, hypocritical ones, parasitic traditional rulers, parochial military and police forces. You will shoot people protesting against tax laws. And you are among the poorest paid in the world, police officers and military in Africa. You are among the poorest paid. You live in dirty barracks. You drive rickety cars. Some of your uniforms look very shabby. When you retire, your retirement benefits will not be paid for many years. And some of you will die without receiving your, your retirement benefits. And then you will shoot at people 
protesting for a better country. There was one of them I saw that was throwing a tear gas and his hands blew off. I don't know how true is that. The military, the police, the judiciary, the legislative arm, traditional rulers, um, religious leaders in Africa take time. From slave trade, you have been our problem. This Gen Z, this generation, Gen Z generation, I told you before now, they will question everything and they don't fear, don't play. You will learn the hard way according to very dark black man. Many nations are at a precipice. Any little push. Kenya will have degenerated to military rule and chaos if not for a president that was wise and backed off from that law. Don't take the people of Africa for granted. They are so exposed today and they are ready to fight for their rights. God bless the nation of Kenya. God bless the president. God bless the youths of Kenya. They have set a standard that African leaders, youths, religious leaders should emulate. Dr. Charles Apoke is still my name. I am the area grandfather. I have a seminar coming up on the 5th and on the 6th of July by 7 p.m. Nigerian time. Send a message to plus 234-705213673 and I will send you the flyer for the seminar. The last one, 333 people registered from 33 nations. That's why I'm concerned by anything, concerned by anything, concerned with anything that happens in any nation of the world. I become the area grandfather. God bless you.